are open to page 20, and we're doing the oral exercises 1 to 10, written 2 through 34, even. So you have your puzzle, you skip a line, and the directions, Grace, for the first 10 problems. Translate each sentence into an equation. Okay, we're going to translate left to right. Unless we see the words less than, the verb becomes the equal sign. Number one, 12 more than the number P. How would you write that much? 12 plus P equals 37. Is becomes the equal sign 37. Number three, 40 decreased by the number M is 24.5. Michael, as well as. 40 decreased by the number M. 40 minus M. Is 24.5. Correct. Number five. The sum of one third of the number S and 12 is 23. Um, one third S plus 12 equals 23. Now, we saw the word sum, but there was nothing being done to the sum, so you don't need the parentheses. So she's correct. The sum of one-third of the number S and 12 is 23. That was number five, wasn't it? Number seven, make sure you do use two lines for the fractions. The quotient of the number B and 4 is 8. Jay? We're going to write it as a fraction since we use the fractions in algebra. Use two lines, good. Number nine, the product of 12 and the quantity, the word quantity means parentheses. The product of 12 and the quantity, one less than the number D. 12 parentheses. One less than the number D. One minus D. Less than. Oh, D minus 1. Yeah. Is 84. Equals 84. And the parentheses have to be there because you're taking 12 times the quantity, not 12 times D. All right, that's the end of the oral exercise written. We're going to do 2 through 34, so we're going to start with number 2. The directions for that, John? Tell whether equation A or equation B translation of the given student. Okay, you go ahead and translate two and then we'll find the correct one. Six less than a number is 12. How would you write that? X minus six equals 12. And which one is that? It has a different variable. B. That's B. And circle B, because I'm asking you to translate and then find the correct answer so we have a little bit of work. You're going to do four. We're doing six. Read that one, Michael. Um, a number is nine more than one third of itself. How would you translate that? So, um, a number is, uh, so n equals nine more than one third of itself. Nine plus one three n, or one, of, one third n. And which one is that? That would be a. a. You're going to do 8, number 10. What are the directions now, Brian? Uh, uh, match the sentence in the first column with the corresponding equation in the second column. Yeah, I would want you to translate and then find, put the correct letter down. So how would you write 3 times the quantity 2 less than x is 8? Uh, it would be 3 times 2. It says the quantity, not three times two. It says three times the quantity. Uh, parentheses. Two less than x. X minus two. Is eight. Equals eight. Which one is that? A. A. Circle A. Number 14. Grace, three diminished by twice the number is eight. How do you write that? Three. Minus 2x equals 8. And that is? G. G. Uh, the directions for the next set, Michael? Um, use the figure and the 
number 18, you have a triangle and it's labeled X, X, and 7, and they tell you the perimeter equals 29. So give me an equation you can use. The perimeter in all of this. Um, 7 plus X plus X equals 29. Good. 20 you do, 22. Lauren, you have a rectangle and its length is x plus 1, its width is x, and they tell you the area equals 42. What would be the equation you could use? Um, x, x plus 1 plus x plus 1. No, they didn't say perimeter. They've got area equals 42. You're finding the area. So x plus 1 times x. And we need what? Because the length is more than one term, you have to have the length. You have to have parentheses. Equals? Um, 42. 42. Good. Oops. All right, turning the page. Um, have your calculators handy. We're going to use them here. Uh, you do 24, we're going to do 26. Read the directions for it. J. Okay, so we're going to do that first, part A. And in parentheses, we'll just use X unless we <clears throat> are given a specific one. So in 26J, X equals what? What's in parentheses? No, 26. What's in parentheses? The station's age now, isn't it? 13 years. 26. You have to choose a variable, and it stands for what is described by the words in parentheses. So all I want you to do is write down your variable, and then write down the words in the parentheses. So X will represent the station's age now. Do you understand what I'm doing? Okay, now you're going to, got that on your paper? X equals the station's age now. Everybody has that on their paper. Now, represent the English sentence. Nine days ago, a station, a new radio station. So how do I write that much? Nine days ago, a new radio station. The minus was correct, but not the order. If I say six years less ago, you take your age minus six, right? Okay, so the station's x, that's how much it is right now. How would I represent nine days ago? All right. Had been, that's the verb, to be, so that becomes what? Equals. And then I put what? Thirteen. Thirteen. I am... You don't need your calculator. I'm thinking of the assignment coming up. I had myself circle that. Number 30. Right, read that one, Becca. A 16 year old building is one fourth as old as the nearby bridge. So, what does the variable stand for? X equals bridge's age now. And you're writing it down. That's what it stands for. And part B, translate the English sentence into math. A 16-year-old building is? Um, 16 equals? One-fourth is the nearby bridge. One-fourth is old is the nearby bridge. X. One-fourth oh, one is old. One-fourth times uh, X. 16, no, X. <laughs> This is a direct translation. Oh. A 16 year old building, 16, is equals one fourth, one fourth as old as the nearby bridge. Well, the nearby bridge is X, right? Mm -hmm. That's all. Oh, okay. That's all. 
So the time sign is going to be confused. I don't use the time sign in algebra. So when you see that X, it stands for what? The bridge dictionary. <laughs> An unknown. Okay, it's a variable. 34, read that one, John. Season ticket which for 39 basketball games costs $1,090. So what does X stand for? What's in parentheses? Cost of one admission of this ticket. Cost of one admission. Now I'll translate the English sentence above that. It says a season ticket good for 39 games. So if C is the cost of one admission, how I, would I represent the season ticket? 39 Cost is a verb, so that becomes the equal. And what was the cost of the season ticket? Okay, that's it. You can pause that.